well I'm doing this a bit quicker than I thought I was going to be um, it's taken no time at all um, just removed all the pouring lugs off of the various parts there was no real flashing anywhere at all um, and no air holes or nothing so um, removed those gave it a wash and a simple case of just sticking the two legs on the body and the body to the base two mounting points here and here the confusion about the chain really wasn't confusion one of them was already still attached to the mounting thing the other little bit of chain that came with it was the one that had snapped off but that was easily to sort out um, and that's him done um, as you can see he's in a quite a stark uh, grey over the grey primer and um, initially I was going to have this colour scheme and then tint it with um, a warmer colour like a brown just you know tint everything there but I quite like it um, I haven't got any model that's just in a monochrome sort of colour like this so I'll see how I go I might, I might paint the base um, next just to see how that goes if I do find it it's a bit cold I might warm it up a bit with some um, like brown wash or something like that um, but right now I quite like him like that he's a great figure isn't he very happy with him so that's him and as I say he's pretty much done um, the other thing I've done is just put the, the night goblins together that's the four of them that was easy again no flashing at all um, a couple of them had to have arms stuck on and that's about it oh yeah this fella here who's the spotter the guy who's right on top I wondered what this lump was here and it wasn't until I had actually primed it and started dry brushing that I realised that that extra bit of horn there isn't it's his foot you see so that's his right foot because he's sort of sitting just here what I've done that's an ear that's not over a, a casting problem on the other side as well that's an ear but let's take one out what I've done is there's a couple of there you go a couple of locating uh, lugs for him that I filled in with blue tack before I started priming because he's sort of like hanging half on half off and he's sort of sitting here like this so he's going to be going there okay so that's as far as I've got no developments on the whole spit thing I'm still arming an R in on that um, and at the moment I'm busy burning my fingers stretching clear sprue so um, I'm not going to remove the, um, the squigs that have been spat out from the uh, the cast original spit until I'm happy with the clear stretch spit and there's a phrase I never thought I'd say <laughs>